everyone so i know that a lot of you have been waiting on me doing more cold calling videos so in this one i will be calling a for sale by owner this fizbo i have been trying to get in contact with him since yesterday it seems like we are playing phone tag it was just put on zillow about a day ago and it's very close actually to where i live so i've been trying to reach out to see exactly what the deal is what the motivation is and hopefully try and set an appointment with this gentleman he put a lot of information in the description on zillow so i just want to get to the bottom of it so i'm going to call him again right now and you are going to see exactly what's going to happen along with me so hopefully everything goes well hello hello yes hey this is loida we were playing phone tag yesterday i was calling about oh. your home and <laughs> yeah, we sure did huh? yeah we were going back and forth well i'm glad that i caught you this morning i figured it's saturday maybe not as many people are trying to get a hold of you <laughs> yeah, it's been going pretty non-stop but today's a, a quite a quieter yes <laughs> yeah good well i'm glad that i caught you and i just wanted to reach out i'm actually a realtor in the area and i live like a few blocks away from you so i just wanted to see yeah. maybe what i can do to help you well, right now, so we were we we're testing it, uh, testing the waters. Let's say mm -hmm. uh, I know that the market's really good for us right now, and uh, still working on some upgrades and stuff like that as I listed in the ad. And yeah. So we just we, we threw it on Zillow just to see you know, what kind of response we'd get and uh, see if somebody wanted to continue on with the upgrades. Um, see, our, our our plan is. I mean, I'm retired now. Both my wife and I are retired, and. We have grandkids all over the country, and we're going to be following uh, the larger portion of them to Arkansas. Nice. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, so that's exciting for us. But uh, the, the the downside is we have a rental, in, and uh, so when we sell this house and we move into the start uh, the 24 month period to get the capital gains waiver. Mm -hmm. um, because we've had that property quite a while, so it's gone up quite a bit, and so then then we sell that. But uh, so anyway, that's just kind of our our, oh, our okay. detail plan. Yeah. Uh, right now. So. so like I said, it's not like we're urgent to sell it. Uh, naturally, we're anxious to move and kind of get this process started. Um, but I mean, the clock will start ticking at the end of this month because the tenant will be moving out, mm. and so that'll become our primary residence. And then this will be our second residence. But uh, um, either way, um, so like I said, we're not really a big rush to sell it. And I'm still working on the the upgrades, as I was saying. Mm -hmm. And if somebody wanted to take it over, they could save a few bucks and they save a bit of work and, and then, uh, you know, stuff like that. And if we don't get any response, you know, in a the, in the couple or few weeks, then, you know, then we will we'll, um, pursue the possibility of... Um, of uh, using an agent and mm -hmm. quite frankly you know we're trying to avoid the commission if we don't have to do that yeah yeah now in regards to those upgrades because i did read what you posted in the ad um did mm -hmm. you already pay for those upgrades or or what's the situation with that in terms of like time frame also uh they're in process right now i'm i'm fixing some of the more important stuff but uh um but as far as, uh, um, you know, the up upstairs, downstairs is kind of done, uh, other just some detail stuff, but uh, upstairs uh, needs new flooring, you know, because the carpet's old and, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we're gonna repaint it and just spruce it up, let's say. Um, I've upgraded the kitchen quite a bit, um, um, but I, I wasn't really gonna deal with the bathrooms too much, um, uh, but, uh, you know, just to clean, clean things up. Um, and, uh, just kind of go from there because I, I know a lot of times people come in and they want to change everything out to their what they want anyway and yes um, yeah so I'm aware of that so it's like I said they want to do the uh there's no work of changing a whole bunch of stuff just to have it changed again um, yeah exactly now I saw that you have it for seven sixty nine nine hundred. how did you come up with that price Initially, well, we, we started it, when we posted the ad, uh, I think it was Wednesday, I think it finally came through. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, we, we started at 750 and we I was basing it on uh, what had recently sold in the area, 
and looking at what Zillow sells and, and what Redfin and what um, uh, Realtor.com and just kind of basing it on, on, on that. And then uh, yesterday we noticed that uh, Zillow went way up, uh, uh, really out of nowhere. And so we bumped it up a little bit and see what we get. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. That, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's just kind of our own little, uh, should I say, informal comp. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. When it comes to like Zillow and all of those websites, um, most of the times those estimates are just based on mathematical algorithms. That's why you probably mm -hmm. saw it go up, and who knows, it might go down tomorrow. Um, ultimately, the good thing right now is that inventory is very low, and there's a ton of buyers out there because interest rates are still historically low. And this area, it's a great area. I live in it myself, and I just love everything about this so i know that if the home your home specifically was priced right and actually exposed to everyone uh, your home would sell in a heartbeat so the problem is not whether or not the home can sell it's just you actually um, doing the right approach in making sure that all of the actual qualified buyers that are ready willing and able are actually seeing the home mm -hmm. yeah i'm aware of that that's why i just say we're we're just Keeping our toes in the water and just see if it's something that we can do. And if, if, if we're not getting enough activity, mm -hmm. then then it's time to, to change it. Because I know that you know the even at uh, you know four percent. I mean, it's because of the value of the properties out here. It's such a large um, you know cut for us, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what hurts. And um, and then plus you know paying the the, the buyer's agent and stuff. So. Uh, you know, we have specific goals with what to do with this money, and uh, so we have a certain amount, and, and that's where 750 first came in. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, but then after that, we got the escrow fees, and, and we have we put in all new windows, uh, dual pane windows, and we did it on the Hero program, so mm -hmm. we have to pay that off too. So we're mm -hmm. taking all this into account. Yes. And, you know, so. Oh, well, if we can get a little bit more, you know, so we, we bumped it up and just see what kind of response we get. And we're just, we're playing with it right now, quite yeah. frankly. So. Okay, so are you guys... I've, been, I've, I've talked to a lot of realtors. Um, I bet. And it's been the bulk of, our, bulk of our calls. But, you know, I'm getting a lot of good information. And, you know, they're kind enough to, and, and as you, you know, they're kind enough to, to, to get, you know, some inputs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, another thing to consider right now that can get a little tricky as well is that just because of COVID and, and all that's happening, certain banks mm -hmm. and financial institutions have cut down certain programs and also the requirements on lending. So mm -hmm. it's another thing to consider, and especially now with a lot of my sellers that I work with, we are kind of very crucial when we're looking at the approvals and any buyer that's interested in a home just to make sure that they have their financing in order and that the bank is not going to, from one day to the next, just cut the program and then we fall out of escrow. So that's another thing to consider as well. Yeah, no, in fact, I've been approached by a, an actual lender, um, a lender broker, and um, and that's what he works with for sale by owners as well. and. And uh, he offers to pre-approve uh, interested buyers um, before we actually take it off the market, stuff like that. So mm -hmm. um, I have, you know, there's a lot of good resources. But what I do not have is the resources that you have, which is people. Yes. And, and we're, we're aware of that, I know. Um, and I know that, that I'm sure that you could probably get more for the property than I could myself. I'm fully aware of that. The problem is that after the... The commissions, you know, uh, then then I've lost what I gained, kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, and then that's that's. I'm just being totally honest. No, of course. Yeah, yeah. I know it's we all about the numbers. With, <laughs> yeah, we we sat down with my, my my wife is very anal, and uh, we sat down and put the numbers together. What what it would cost us if we if we were able to get our own buyer, and then mm -hmm. what would it cost us if we went through an agent and stuff like that um and so it's still if we're able to sell it yeah on our own and not have to even have to have to pay a buyer's agent um that would be great you know that's best case scenario and and uh so and whether that can happen or not is, is time will tell 
Um, yeah, especially job. right now, if there are any buyers out on the market, most of them are working with an agent to represent them in the sale of the home just because um, I know that you are obviously looking out for your bottom line, but at the same time, they, from the buyer's perspective and in their mind, they wanna make sure that they're working with a seller that is not gonna end up canceling last minute or changing their mind. So they're more than likely working with a realtor to represent them in the sale of the home and obviously negotiate the best price and terms. And ultimately right. that's, that's exactly what you would want as well. So I know the commission might seem like a big number. Um, it's more like an investment, but if there was a way that maybe we could possibly work together, work out something with the number so that you and your wife are happy, but we can also kind of partner up and, and facilitate the sale. Is that something that you possibly think you might be open to? Down the road, we may be. Um... Like I said, I've already had a couple of realtors come in and stuff like that, and um, you know. But uh, um, but yeah, if, if we're just not getting any activity as far as you know, interested buyers on our mm -hmm. own, then yeah, naturally we need to bring in somebody more professional. You know, I'm aware of that. I'm you know, I'm not a realtor. I'm not a salesman. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. I tried actually. I tried real estate. I actually had my contingent license, and discovered that I do not like sales. Oh, what did you not like about it? Uh, the cold calls mostly. Oh, yes. <laughs> I, I, I love working with people. I'm very friendly, very easy to get along with, and I, I, I like to help people, and this is what I was was looking forward to, but doing the cold calls and, and just trying to get that first listing, it was brutal, and uh, I just said, no, nah, this is not for me. And yeah. I would have stuck it out. I probably would have been in a different <laughs> world right now. But <laughs> no, that's that's still the same way a lot of new agents feel because it is intimidating. Mm -hmm. Just like you mentioned, cold calling. I mean, I still do that. I'm doing that right now with you. But luckily, you've been great yeah. to talk to. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I know, I know, and and this is a lot of like because I know what it's like to be on the receiving end, and there's no reason for me to be rude to anybody. Yeah, um, I'm not sure rude to me, and nobody has been. But uh, yeah, um, I just yeah, I just I mean I'd be calling people at eight o'clock in the morning, and they've already had sixteen phone calls, and they're just furious. Yeah, <laughs> and and I said, oh my goodness, and uh, but yeah, it, it was it was just just not my cup of tea. And, uh, <laughs> How long ago was that? Oh my goodness, it was probably uh, I bet you it was uh, late nineties or something like that. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, but it's just yeah, the market wasn't really at its best at that particular time. Oh, I take it back. It was two thousand five. I remember. Oh. There was another rental down, in, and uh, I was working with a friend uh, in in the office uh, who was looking at properties down there, condos that were converted from apartments, and and uh, so we bought one of the units as an investment. We were supposed to flip it and. You know, because uh, everything was brand new and it was all exciting. And then <laughs> we bought it at the peak and it, it crashed. That was two hundred fifty thousand. Oh down no! <laughs> wow. Just, like I told my wife, "This we're gonna lose money if we sell it." So we just kept renting it out, and now it's finally kind of caught up again. And, oh, and we're gonna be selling that too. But uh, and that's yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a nice uh, area. Yeah, it's yeah. beautiful out there. Um, now, yeah, no. I have a quick question regarding your. And I know that you mentioned that the tenants are moving out. Would you consider uh -huh. selling that one? Well, I can't right now. They got, I get hit with capital gains. Mm, okay. um, pretty bad. I mean, my wife bought it back in 81 before we met. And uh, I mean, she paid 92.5 for it. And now it's wow. worth 500. Yeah. So, you know, the capital gains would be pretty, pretty steep. Mm -hmm. And uh, so uh, that's why we, we, we felt it was worth to write it out for the two years over there and then then we can sell it and then take advantage of the waiver again yeah and then this one and is that one almost pretty much paid off as well no we refinanced uh, a couple times and then we bought a business and then it got affected by that 2008 crunch and so we still have a uh, actually a HELOC tied to this house as well so mm. I gotta pay both of those down um, but uh, yeah it's not upside down by any means uh um 
So what would be Sorry. like the total that you owe on that property? What does that look like? I think it was somewhere around, what was the numbers? I'm trying to remember now, but uh, it was somewhere like 400 something thousand amongst the two. And then uh, this, the $1,700 for the, for the, the hero thing. Um, but uh, what, what our objective is, there's a house in Arkansas we've already been eyeing. And, uh, and we have our, yeah, our, one of our daughters and their family live out there. And this house is like perfect for us. Crazy cheap. Oh, yeah. Um, it's 4,100 square foot ranch style home on a five acre lot with two rentals on it already. And uh, a work area to die for. I'm a mechanic type of guy and I like fixing things. Nice. And that'd be my man cave and, and all that. And there's two, there's two, two car garages plus a boathouse. Wow, <laughs> and, sounds like a dream house. It, it really is. It's a gorgeous house inside, and that's two hundred forty-nine thousand. Wow, <laughs> oh, it would be like four million out here. <laughs> it would. It really would. And uh, so we, um, so with the proceeds from selling this house, we, we're she's already. Uh, taking it off the market for us and kind of waiting for the contingency of selling this house. Mm. Um, and uh, so we're we're hoping to buy that with the money we get from this house. And yeah. So that kind of set us up nicely. And, you know, and then for the next few years, we'll just be going back and forth, taking loads with us and just slowly moving in. And then the kids will kind of keep an eye on it and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sounds like a great plan. So obviously the sooner you sell this one, the better and the faster that you can secure that one. Right, right. Okay. So that's why, like I said, we're, we're anxious or, you know, um, mm -hmm. yeah, a little anxious to, to, to move, to move on, but at the same time, uh, not at the, the cost of getting, you know, taking a, a huge hit on this place. Because I know, yeah, that I, I, I know about the, the fact that the inventory is so low compared to the buyers and i know this area we both know this area is yeah. super nice we bought a, we bought out here in 84 we bought this house brand new oh wow and uh so we've seen a lot of things happen it's always been a great neighborhood and the neighbors here are just awesome people and it's a great situation for a new buyer you know yeah i'm closer by Yes, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm like across the street in one of those homes that has like the view towards LA. So I'm very familiar. I'm like really close to you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're up here by you know, Exactly, but, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I know it's just the, the views here and just, just the area and stuff. It's just, it's, it's a great city to live in. Yes, you know? exactly. So just yeah. so that I'm clear, you mentioned, so then in total, you probably own the property around like 400? Uh, four something, I forget. Four something. Uh, probably closer to five. Oh, okay. Once everything's said and done. And then, uh, yeah, I think uh, right around, just, just below five. And, uh, and then, uh, we want to have enough reserves to, to buy that house in Arkansas. So that'll be behind us. Yeah. And would you be purchasing that one cash? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know that you mentioned that you're not really in a rush and you're kind of trying things out yourself. Uh, how uh -huh. much longer do you think you'll take before you might consider um, possibly hiring an agent to help you guys? Not really a specified amount of time, probably a couple of weeks, I guess, mm -hmm. is what I'm figuring. And, uh, you know, um, at the same time, if you, uh, being that we bumped it up a little bit, It'll help us uh, uh, to handle the um, uh, the buyer's agent uh, commissions. So if you um, if you find somebody's interested in moving out here, then you know you could probably go in that direction. Yeah. Know, at this point, so if you've got buyers interested, then you know that would be mm -hmm. wonderful. Yeah, because I'm doing some numbers right now just to kind of get an idea. And like, let's say even if you did sell it at seven seventy with the reducing the 500 that you owe on it and that's not even counting escrow or any other fees i mean that right there right. is 270 so i'm not sure if you would even be able to have enough cash for the arkansas one even if you did it well, maybe, on your own 
maybe my numbers are off a little bit as far as what we owe. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I remember we sat down on, on paper and figured uh, even at the 750, we would still have excess even after buying Arkansas and paying off, and, and taking into account the escrow fees and paying off the hero loan and you know stuff like that so uh, yeah so you guys in your pocket want more than 250 Pardon me in your pocket af- after the the sale of the home let's say if you did it on your own what is that like number that that you want to make sure that you at least have I think it was 270 something is what okay. we're shooting for yeah 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 well um i'll definitely i do want to swing by just so you can at least see me and we can meet in person and um obviously i work a lot in this area if i do come across someone that might be interested i'll definitely let you know and i will obviously also keep you updated in terms of like what's been going on in the market and ultimately you know working with someone will facilitate everything um especially if you want to make sure that you secure the arkansas home and have enough mm-hmm. money for that one. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's our ultimate uh, bottom line goal is to be able to, to do all that. And, and like I said, still have some to buy the uh, Arkansas property and then, um, you know, have a little bit left in our pocket. So, <laughs> so as of that, right now, be... with um, mm-hmm. the home and the upgrades that you guys are doing, let's say you continue doing them, by when do you foresee the home being completely done? 30 days, probably. Okay. You know, uh, that's that's kind of what we're shooting for. And, uh, you know, because I'm doing other stuff around the house and stuff like that. Uh, but, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I figured probably 30 days we can at least have um, the, the, the important stuff done that I need to do first and then the, the getting the upstairs done. And then the rest of it will just be adding on to or continue on with the, the landscaping. You know. Yeah. The landscaping is in pretty good shape, but there's a few bare areas and stuff like that. Okay, got it. Um, what kind of, um, I don't want to say aggressiveness, but, uh, yeah. you know, the walk away feeling like this person's really going to work hard for us and the yes. other person's not, you know, stuff like that. We just kind of get a feel for it. I mean, we... We owned a couple of businesses in the past, and you know, and we've been we've been beat up with like pretty good, and we kind of we we kind of learned a lot of stuff the hard way, and, and so we kind of get a sense for for things. But, yeah, know. of course. No, I. And I that's could... what we kind of mm-hmm. we base it on, and like I said, my wife is pretty pretty intuitive, and uh, um, I learned that the hard way too. I made a really bad decision. <laughs> she was opposed to and it cost us a lot of money oh no (laughs) (laughs) i gotta get on her good side then (laughs) (laughs) she's not mean by any means but uh but uh she's she's pretty sharp yeah good yeah i'm I'm quite blessed oh good i'm glad to hear that and hopefully soon you guys will be in arkansas and your paradise home (laughs) exactly yeah yeah looking forward to that Yes, awesome. But anyway, I'm sorry. I, I do. I talk a bit, and I, 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 I talk right off my my sleeves and stuff. But I don't mind sharing stuff. But uh, um, no, I. Anyway, I, yeah, you want, Yeah. I'm sorry. I was gonna say no. I appreciate you sharing with me your plans and everything that you're looking to do because that also helps me um, to see if I can help you. And ultimately, my goal is to help whether it's you or someone else with whatever their their goals and and dreams in terms of real estate art so i'm glad that yeah. we finally connected after a few phone tags and uh yeah. <laughs> yeah i'll definitely swing by are you guys usually always at home most of the time uh tomorrow i'm well now we'll be here tomorrow we've got a couple people coming out somebody wants to look at the place tomorrow mm-hmm. and then uh we got some friends coming over in the evening but most of the time yeah we're we're here working on the place unless uh, I got to, you know, I got to go, go out and do something, but. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll swing by maybe later this afternoon or something. I'll just quickly um, knock on the door or something so that you can put a face to the name. My name is Loida. Loida? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, yeah, that, that, that'd be fine. Just let me know when you're coming over so we, mm-hmm. 
make sure that we haven't gone shopping or something. Oh, yeah, of course. And also, I'm pretty sure you already know you're going to continue to get mostly phone calls from agents, and they're all going to be telling you the same thing. And if they do go to your home, they're probably going to want to, I don't know, either like list the home or something. So you're going to hear everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me step inside here again. Got yeah. uh, gardeners next door. Oh, okay. But, uh, but no, no, we, 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 we purposefully do not sign up uh, mm -hmm. right on the spot. Yeah. We, we've learned that the, the same thing the hard way. Uh, we, we always will sit on it, sleep on it, and things like that to, to kind of, before we make a decision like that anyway. So. Yeah, to make sure you're making the, the best and the right decision that's going to... Mm -hmm. That you're yeah. gonna be happy with. So that's why, yeah, that's why we don't mind people coming out, you know, and mm -hmm. showing, you know, showing what 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 you what you got, what you do, and and we kind of get a feel for it. And then when the time comes that we decide we we want to go with an agent, then we can yeah kind of go over our notes again. So. Yes, perfect, awesome. Well, it has definitely been a pleasure speaking with you. You too. Yes. So we'll definitely be in touch. And this is your cell phone number, right? That's correct, yeah. Okay, what I'll do is that I'll also shoot you a text message with my info. That way you already have it. And then, yeah, okay. I'll, I'll text you or give you a quick call whenever I do swing by. That way um, I can make sure that you're there. Okay, super. Okay, awesome. All right, well, thanks again for your time. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, you do the same. Thank okay. you so much. Bye. Okay. Bye bye. So there you go. This was a really good conversation. And like I mentioned in our phone call, this gentleman lives really close to where I live. So I definitely will be stopping by. I got a lot of information from him already. So I'm also going to be running some numbers because he did mention that they are open to talking with an agent. And if I can help him and his wife get the 270 or something even close to that, and obviously we still get paid and do everything for him, it sounds like they would be on board. Right now, I just want to get my, my face in front of him so he knows exactly Exactly who I am you heard him mention that he's looking obviously for someone that would be aggressive that they, they they feel will get the job done and I know that myself and my team are those agents that will help him out so I'll definitely keep you posted on that make sure to follow me on Instagram because once I do end up meeting with this gentleman and get the listing because I'm already putting it out there you'll probably see it on Instagram and then you'll be able to remember that I made the first phone call live here and recorded it for you guys so if you want to see more videos like this make sure to give this a thumbs up leave me a comment in the section below let me know what you thought about the conversation this is usually how my conversations go as you see most for sale by owners are not like dicks or like super hard or difficult some are but this gentleman um thank god he was really easy to talk to and he gave me all of the information that i needed thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one